Hi, you're watching Investor Insights and in this video I'd like to talk to you about the concept of the pendulum. Now, it's more so how asset prices fluctuate like a pendulum swings. You have to understand that nothing is always in a perfectly balanced situation. Um, free markets want asset prices to remain in balance with supply and demand. So normally towards the middle. Uh, you'd like supply to roughly meet demand so you have stable prices. In times of boom you got a whole bunch of monies chasing the same amount of goods and services so the price of those assets swing one way and that's up and in times of things like loose monetary policy um, which actually are the causes of booms you've got a lot of money printed out that's chasing a finite number of goods and services and that pushes the price up and up and up and up and up and up and so the pendulum swings to one huge extreme and then things implode and bang they swing back but things don't just balance out when when the pendulum swings back it just doesn't stop in the middle it swings in the other extreme so you now have a whole bunch of sellers um, to not too many buyers and the prices just fall from beneath their feet and when the bottom drops out as high as the prices were raised during the boom is as low as they can fall during the bust so you have to understand that principle it's that as high as prices go they can fall even lower on the way down so when you have uh, for example a stock market bubble and prices have risen 40% uh, above their multi-year averages well on the way down it's not going to stop at the average it's going to probably fall 40% below the average so just as high as it went is as low as it can go un underneath the the mean but the concept of all that is that the long term will be such that they re things revert back to the mean in a normal capitalist market in a free market the forces will dictate that the pendulum somehow finds rest in the middle and it's the policy makers and the central bankers that want to always push it to one side and then eventually things implode and they swing to the other so just because something has gone back to its its average price for many many years doesn't mean that that's where the bottom is going to be found if you have that mentality you're going to get caught out and you may be wiped out as it swings in the opposite direction